It was a private memorial, but thousands came from near and far. They wanted to hear about the life of George Floyd. Our Reg Chapman's outside the church on the campus of North Central University. Reg? Well, Frank, that crowd did stretch for blocks. Thousands of people did come out to say goodbye to George Floyd. In the crowd, people from all different backgrounds. Some came to honor his life. Others came searching for understanding. And it's really important for me to change and to learn and to understand things that I have never understood. And I'm excited for that opportunity. Jane and Ty Osmond drove from the Detroit area just to be a part of the memorial service for George Floyd. Both say they weren't sure what to think when they saw the video of Floyd's last moments alive. But it was the images of the unity, the coming together of all people to foster change that made them thirst for understanding. Just because we believe that there's something going on and we need to hear the story. I think that so many times uh, you just have your perspective and that we miss something when we don't hear the hearts of other people. And uh, we really felt like there was a, a perspective that was coming from this environment that we didn't understand and know and wanted to know. And that's the only way that we can relate to other people. Now, this was not just a community event. It was an international event. People and journalists from across the globe were all here to honor the man who brought the world together with just three words. I can't breathe. Reg Chapman, thank you.